the multi-crew member cockpit of a bomber offers many opportunities for detailed painting and weathering. The kit supplied cockpit in this Dornier 217 is so good that the only additional parts I'll be using are photo etch harnesses from Edward. After 1940, German cockpit interiors were painted RLM 66 black grey, although the rest of the interior was still painted O2 grey. The first few steps of painting the cockpit are just the same as painting the wheel well. Here we can see we have the RLM 66 black grey base coat applied and also the, the various uh, streaks and stains applied by the, uh, the Aztec A4070 airbrush in the, the black brown mix. And here are those same parts partially assembled and with details picked out using a fine brush and coloured paint as well as an oil wash applied to uh, the, the various shadows and recesses. The rectangular placards throughout the cockpit are decals from Reheat. The instruments are also decals. Some have come from an MDC decal sheet and others have been punched from the kit decals of uh, Tamiya and Hasegawa kits. The final touch has been the application of a uh, lead pencil to the edges of some of the surfaces including uh, the wheels, boxes and edges of the pilot's armoured seat. The coloured photo etch harnesses from Edward are also extremely effective. The only sad part is that a lot of this detail will be lost once the cockpit has been closed up in the aircraft. But through that big glasshouse canopy you'll still see enough to appreciate the effort that you put in. Next month, Tester Scale Workshop will be coming to you live from the IPMS UK Nationals at Telford. Look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.